Hey everybody, Dr. Red here, and we are back with uh, The Flame and the Flood. In this case, The Flame and the Flood is a roguelike survival game, so think Ella uh, pretty much Don't Starve in a Way, that's the closest uh, I can think of at the moment. It was developed by the Molasses Flood for uh, Microsoft Windows, OS X, Xbox One, etc., etc. It just came out late February, so definitely a newish title, I, though I, didn't, I do believe it had an early access, but I didn't quite play in that part in the game. That being said, survival game, basically, some things happen in the world, you're pretty much, the goal is live with your little puppy dog Aesop here and travel down a river, but we'll get more into the gameplay as I start here. I'm not going to be continuing, just going to start a new campaign, of course. And just on Traveler, because uh, I'm pretty bad at this game. And I'm not sure if this one's going to actually be a series. We might go up until one death, assuming it doesn't happen in the first episode, of course. But it's definitely neat. I found the art style a little bit grating at first, but it was uh, kind of grew on me, in all honesty. Oh, he's so cute. That's your main character, as you can see. It's very stylized. Kind of hard to look at at first, but I found it growing on me quite well, in all honesty. Gavin's for us a little backpack. Ah, oh, he looks like a little old man. Radio telling us to go somewhere, do something. Let's go, Aesop. We got this. Okay, so I find the menus a little bit convoluted, but pretty much it plays straightforward. WASD to move, or you can pretty much move with right mouse button, but I prefer the arrow keys here. Go through your basic survival info, all the stats you have to keep an eye on, etc., etc. As well as inventory, current objective. Old radio is working, just need to get closer to the source, and maybe find high ground to hear the message clearly. Never actually done that successfully, <laughs> I'm feeling like, in all honesty, but. You like the crafting menu, 2 of 69 discovered, what Aesop's carrying for us. I feel like this is what I left him in a previous playthrough, but I could very well... Oh god, that's dark. Uh, okay. I just realized something. If you die, Aesop basically is just taking the bag from your corpse and you're restarting again. That's why he has the feather, devil's trumpet, etc. That's, uh, good to know. <laughs> wow, it just got a little bit dark. That was my mistake. Okay, as usual. Right-click to loot. Go on through info. The wolf. Wolves are awful. I hate them. They've ruined pretty much every run I've tried so far in this game. Water info. Did Aesop have a... No, I didn't get much I guess I'd be a little bit cheap. But we're going to be pretty much getting a bunch of supplies just here. Let's get in here, see if we have anything. Oh, nothing we can do about that. Quick use info. Uh, basically over here. Just a bunch of quick uses so it saves you from diving your inventory, fill jar, eat some jerky, whatever's on each individual tab. It's based on medical, supplies, crafting, I believe. That being said, we should probably fill the jar here. Some polluted water, delicious. Trying to put the quest cache. Basically, it's going to be telling you what to do. Which I don't remember what that would be. Like in here, basic tools. Get a stone knife and a stone hammer. We'll pick up one campfire from doing that. And here's going to be another crux of the game. Our handy dandy raft. It's pretty weird. It's, pr it's not a great raft, but it gets the job done. But we're pretty much cleared off the tutorial island. From what I'm aware, the game is procedurally generated, so you'll never be having the exact same run. Except for the very intro. Also, I found the soundtrack pretty goddamn good. It's very upbeat, it's kicking. Up until things happen. But same thing, raft is controlled with WASD. Or right mouse. But. And you can use space to do like this little jut that he uses to stand from there. Oh man, this music's kicking. You got your little beasties hanging out in the forest. Your raft does have durability, like you did say there earlier. So don't crash. Oh, he's so cute. He's like a little scout. He's just hanging out. 
If I ever do play this game to completion, nothing better happens to the duck, and we are in some white water rapids. So. A lot harder to control, a lot quicker, pretty much you're gonna be getting dragged with the current, so that's always fun. Up until there's like a wall you're heading towards. Oh yeah, this is your inventory here, go figure. It shows you your slots. Now we're in the first region. I see this little shopping cart here. We cream close to it. I click the loot, we got another jar, that's pretty good. But yeah, I'm not sure if all the music here was self-composed just for the game itself, but it's pretty good. Assuming this kind of music is your thing, I feel like I've been enjoying a lot of old music. That sounds super pretentious. I kind of like a little bit of everything. Of course, everyone says that, but I'm not sure there's an actual genre I actively dislike. So. Curtain's trying to sweep us to the right, but I kind of want to hit this forest if we can. So pretty much any of the actual orange things you can dock on. Wilderness, light on supplies, so there might not be too much here. Might even be some beast. That'll work. I think that's a wolf. I don't want to get anywhere near that. Wolves will ruin your run. Last right there. Hell out of you. Thankfully it's daytime, so the pews are sleeping. Animals are nothing to mess around with. Oh yeah, this is a pre-work recording, so I didn't have much time to fiddle with the audio settings, so... If it's a bit loud, it might be just in the future, but... You might have to deal with me to getting talked over by the radio. Mm. Thankfully, I don't think there's anything else over there, so we can, uh... We can leave pretty just pretty much just like that. That being said, our inventory is getting a little bit slow, or full rather, so let's see what we can do to empty it up a little bit. It's good to clean up the water then just for now. We have some time. Braided cord's pretty damn useful. Really good. Let's get to finish with the braided cord. Make ourselves a stone knife. Use most of our flint, but that being said, we are kind of running low on goods. Craft. Craft. Pretty much the least we have to carry, the better. Which, there's probably a hotkey I'm just unaware of, in all honesty. But it would be pretty... Oh, they don't stack. It's a, sure. I'm going to keep a jar on me in case. We're doing okay on food so for now, so I feel like we can just move that to raft. Everything else we can move to good old Aesop there. So cute. Look at him. Look at him. Now we disembark. Trying to get us to go this way. Because we're not going to be able to get to the woods on the left side. Riding the current can be a little bit hard. Campground over here. We're gonna quickly dock on up to the side. Often has flint. Flint's always good. We can never have too much. We'll put fire. Stupid crow. I'm not sure if actively running in water does anything negative to you, but... Well, bunnies! Anything we can collect from here? Nothing, huh? Alright. New goal, carnivore. Let's see what that quest is for us. Eat ten meat, rabbit, wolf, boar, doesn't matter, it's all good for you. That might not happen on some time. Dandelion's good, it's uh, easy nutrition. Sweet surprise.
Cattails are great. We really need those just for a lot of crafting resources. So more of these we can find the better in all honesty. Saplings have the use, so I think it's largely just for crafting. Like uh, making more wood logs. Wood logs, uh, different kind of things. We'll get into more of the crafting at the point, of course. Dude, that's a lot of fun. Come on, you dumb bird. You too. I don't know why it told me at some point to stop them from growing this bike in the space bar. So I'm not sure if they do anything in particular negative, but... Have a lot of fun. That's really good. May as well gather the charcoal while we're here. That's good. So now we can just sit down and see what we can do for crafting. Stone hammer is definitely something we should make. Basic tools, awesome. Braided cord, it's. I feel like we should want two tinder, so we can use that with the cattails, just so we can have access to the campfire if we need it later. And just a bunch of braided cords. Perfect. Stat-wise, we're still doing pretty good in all honesty, so I'd rather not be burning daylight. Still have to loot this building here. Old lumber. Works for me. I build a raft frame. Apparently we haven't searched this one yet. More old lumber. Alright. And again, I'm not sure how genre-changing this is, but I'm really enjoying this game. One of my favorite survival games I've played in a long time. Ah, I'm gonna make a snare. It is good for catching rabbits and whatnot, so we definitely want one of those in our, in our pocket, pretty much, but I'm not sure what we can really do with it. Like, I, I think it's only good for one use, which is kind of not super great. We can build a couple raft frames with our old lumber. Good if we ever get to the upgrading portion of the game for our little rinky-dink raft here. God. As you can see, the, um, maybe it's just me and I'm crazy, but the style of the game definitely has been growing on me. Let's keep on going. It's nighttime. Spooky wolves are out and about. Thankfully, we have avoided the whitewater rapids for a while. Don't want to miss this stop, though. On that note, if we ever see an aggro to uh, wolf, we are booking it. Really goddamn quick. I think they're more prevalent, prevalent at night, which is why I'm a little bit cautious at the moment. Ooh, yeah, mulberries. Oh god, speaking of wolf. Oh, and boar. We out. I think we have a bandage, thankfully. Um, let's check. Ah, that's what I was hoping to avoid. We were so close, too. Oh no, I don't know if we have a uh, bandage or not. Can we craft one? What do we need for a bandage, then? Oh. Alcohol and rags. We haven't had any luck in finding as of yet. And we're also getting pretty tired. Now let's hope we can stumble upon a church or something. They generally have both. Or if we get lucky with this little shopping cart over here. That's a fish hook. That's uh, not a bandage. Not a bandage at all. I'm going to be using this to go as fast as we can right now. Because we got to find bandages sooner than later. Bandages. Alcohol, let's have the bandage. Ah, oh, now we're wet too. This is the pretty much raft upgrading thing. I don't think we have access to it or anything, but. We can check, just so I can show you before we die, if nothing else. We can use nuts and bolts to do any repairs. Pretty much, this is all like the 
photograph the motor, sturdy frame, etc., etc. Rudder, yada, yada, yada. We do not have the resources right now, and I don't have the urge to get gas, so we're just going to try and hope for a camp and see what we can do about this laceration before it outright kills us. Oh, there's a church down the way. We're, te we're Sorry, campground, we're skipping you for now. Ill equipped for the weather. There should be shelter here in the church itself. Oh, almost missed it. The goddamn current is so strong. Good shelter, rags, stitching kits, alcohol. Let's see what we can find, everybody. Saplings are good. Hard to complain. Oh, we can uh, make a spear trap. Looting on the way, of course. And hoping to hell and back we can find something we need. Some bunnies. Stitching kit, I think we might be able to do something with that. See so, ya. Yeah, may as well consume the stack of mulberries. I hope it doesn't actually give you the scoots. I haven't had that happen before, so. Okay, come on, crows. Oh, there's a wolf there! What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ! We're gonna sleep here for four hours. That's not gonna save us from the wolf, but. Maybe he'll have moved. Oh man, that will totally scare the shit out of me. So like I said, the music's uh, really nice. We're hungry as hell. Still bleeding out of both ends. Um, Thirst isn't too bad since we chug logged. Might deploy the snare. Try that again. That's not what I'm looking for. Moving the up anyways. I like how the trap gets assembled though. It's really cool to see. We're still bleeding out of both ends. Oh, there's the wolf! I was so wrong! Playing chicken with the wolf. No, he broke it! Get in here and sleep. That's not sleeping. The sleep's just a cop out to make the wolf go away. I feel like this might be the end of the run. If it is, I will probably get to a similar point in the game and just continue roughly. Just for the next episode. Oh, I'm so sad. Blood everywhere. As you can see, we're just hobbling, starving, and pretty sure it's just the lacerations doing that to us. As you can see, we've lost a little bit of the kick in our step. We got a staph infection from one of our lacerations, but at least the lacerations cured, right? Looks like we're on death door, everybody. Sad, this might be my least successful one. We're starving now. The world's getting warbly, and we're barely steering this thing anymore. Laying down, starving, fading to black. And well then, with that being said, that'll be the end of this episode of The Flame and the Flood. Sorry to cut it short, I didn't expect to have this bad of a run. I'm definitely the shortest it's ever gone for me, but again, a lot of it is bad luck, and that wolf was just some bad play on my end. But again... Thanks for watching. Uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe, more importantly, leave some feedback. And again, there will probably be another episode of this tomorrow, because I'm kind of annoyed I got this short, but I'll probably get into the s same general area, so you wouldn't be missing too much. If anything else happens, I'll probably let you know if I remember. But again, I'm Dr. Red, and thanks for watching. Catch you next time, everybody.